Let's become sociopaths, shall we? So there are a few things that I wanted to talk about before we get to some actual sewing is a few projects that I would like to do. I, of course, did not finish Baby Girl's sleep sack, you know, unmedicated ADHD, but I did attach the zipper. And I'm quite proud that most of the flowers are lined up almost perfectly. It's a little bit wonky down here, but that's fine. But this is definitely something that I would love to get finished this weekend, and I think it's doable, so I'm gonna do that this weekend. And then I had talked about doing a sleep sack with this fleece, but I kind of want to just turn it into a blanket. I literally have like seven sleep sacks that I made for Kaya and I'm gonna be using those for baby girl. <laughs> so I figured this could be her like special blanket because you know Kieran has a special little fox blanket that we got from the store but I figured I could just make her one. You know her very own special blanket. And y'all know I made her this little deer bib. Also found this really pretty floral that I thought would make a beautiful bib and then, you know, backing it with this one. And then I really just loved this one and I thought it would look really pretty with this blue on the back. No, well, the yellow could look pretty nice too. Then there was also this floral that I thought could look really nice with this blue or this pink. <laughs> then I had this wild idea that I was somehow going to learn how to knit and I found this really pretty yarn. I don't think I'm gonna learn how to knit anytime soon. <laughs> I don't have the time or the patience or the Adderall, to be frank. But one of these days, I have a book and everything. I really, I want to learn because I think this is really pretty. Then if any of y'all been following for a while, I, I made these little knotted gowns. <laughs> Robin sent me the, um, the pattern for these. And I, I still have yet to photograph these and put these on Etsy. <sighs> this is the lifelong struggle of somebody with ADHD is we have a million projects that we have started, even finished. It's finished. And I have not photographed it and put it online. It's fine, it'll, it'll come in due time. <laughs> probably when I get my Adderall script again. But anyway, I, I found this material for baby girl and I wanted to make one of those knotted gowns. I think this would just be really cute. And I think that's about it for projects I would like to get done for baby girl. Like I said, I have a million sleep sacks that I made for Kaya that I'm gonna be using for this baby. So this baby has a surplus of things from her sister and you know, stuff that we've gotten her and then stuff that you guys got her. By the way, we have gotten more gifts in the mail and I do wanna do another video thanking y'all. Um, but I think I might do that after we get her nursery furniture and stuff all set up because we're almost, we're almost there. What I would like to get started on today is a, um, curtain because Kieran has a little house bed and it has a window and where that window is is kind of where he has his head and then during the day the light comes in no matter how much I've closed the blinds so I thought maybe a little curtain there would help sort of filter that light so he gets a bit more of a restful sleep and I found this material and I thought it was just perfect because it has a little bit of orange in there some yellow um, you know, just the neutral color. And it's just, you know, it still fits with the little woodland theme. It's got little trees all over it. I thought that would be just the perfect um, little curtain to make for him. I was thinking of doing one layer, but I feel like that doesn't filter out enough light. Here's the one layer, and then if we fold it, that just filters out a lot more light. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna get too adventurous or anything. I thought about doing like a little rod and you know, having it so they can open up and be pulled back and everything. Maybe some other time, I think what I'm gonna do is make this very simple and just have it almost like a pillowcase, but it's closed, if that makes sense. And then I have these really convenient sticky Velcro spots. <laughs> And then I can put like a few on the, the bed itself right above the window. And then the other ones on the little uh, curtain thing. Come on, Brain, let's do this. So I think I'm just going to iron it out so everything's nice and pressed. And then I'm going to surge around the whole thing 
just to get all the raw edges off. And then top stitch, and then it should be done. Oh, and then stick on the Velcro. Just going to sort of lazily pin the fabric together. And I'm also just gonna pin the bottom just to keep the fabric from moving around too much. All right, let's do the top. Not bad. Okay, so now it is basically um, an unfinished pillowcase and uh, have the bottom open. So I'm gonna take all of these clips off and I'm gonna go around on the raw edge with the serger. Now clean this up so it doesn't fray any more than it already has in the wash. side out. I just thought of something. He has a little toddler pillow in his bed that's like way too small for the adult pillowcase that came with his jersey knit <laughs> um, sheets and everything. I should make him a little matching pillowcase out of this material. I think I have to do that. I'll keep it that big. Now I'm just gonna roll this over twice and then hem it. Now that that's rolled over, I'm gonna utilize the seam guide and just go all the way around. All right, voila, hard part is over and just in time because Kieran just woke up. Now I'm deciding one, two, three. Actually ended up doing eight because I think that's gonna be better overall. What I'm gonna do because it'd be impossible for me to stick them in the exact places they need to go and peel off this side and then gently place them over the little softer side like so and then my hope is that I'm just going to press it up where it needs to go and then give it a little sticky stick and then we have a curtain. I just thought about if I <laughs> decide to change up the theme to his room because um, we found a ton of bluey bedroom stuff and we just like snatched it up because it was all on sale at Walmart and um, we're gonna give it to him for his second birthday when, when he understands a bit more about like changing his room and stuff. But eventually I do wanna make like a little bluey um, curtain for his bed. So I'm gonna have to work really hard to match up the uh, the Velcros, but I'll just get the same exact size cut that I got for this and then hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Yep, he's just playing, so let's go in there and put up this curtain. Hello! Oh, it's already stuck to the door, jeez. <laughs> Oh, hey. So as you can see, I've been trying to give him a little bit more dark with his swaddle blanket, but that we don't have to do any longer because we're gonna put this up. You're in. I hope I closed all the doors. I think he might be getting the toilet paper in the bathroom. I'll be right back. Ugh. Yeah, he got the toilet paper, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> Nobody tells you that toddlers are basically just cats. <laughs> you gonna vlog, buddy? in here. Let's see, I need to distract him with something so I can do the curtain. About this little guy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Looking at this now, this would actually be the perfect fabric to go with this sheet. Because this, um, this is way too big for his toddler pillow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Might be too long. That's okay. And there we are. It is a little bit long, but that's okay. Yeah, there it is. Nice little curtain, and it matches everything in here. It's really cute. It's definitely keeping that little area where he lays his head down for naps a lot darker. What do you think, Kieran? He's like, I don't even notice. <laughs> you kidding me? I got books and toys everywhere to play with. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. Let me know if you'd like to see more little fun projects like this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.